Beloved in Christ, if I said to you that there is no hope in this life and there is no hope <clears throat> upon this earth, you probably will call me <clears throat> a naysayer, a negative uh, uh, speaker. Uh, you will say things that he just uh, don't seem uh, to get it. Uh, but beloved, I believe I do get it because there is no hope in this life. There is no hope uh, in this earth, but the only hope there is is laid up in heaven, not on this earth. I can gain all the riches of this world, but if I lose my soul, I have actually gained nothing. Uh, people believe that they can steal, they can uh, finagle people, sometimes out of their life savings and out of other things that belong to others and take it to themselves and leave it for their uh, children and believe that somehow they have gained something. Beloved, if you don't leave your children with a legacy of knowing of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have left them in extreme poverty of spirit. God's Word tells us in Colossians 1 and 4 and 5, Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and of the love which you have for all of the saints. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, where of ye heard before in the word of truth of the gospel. Paul was letting the believers at Colossae know, because you have accepted the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, now you have placed your hope in heavenly places and it is no longer upon uh, this earth. Now your love is established not only uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ but also for those who are saints of God. Beloved, people put their hope in many things. But tomorrow isn't promised to them. People put their hope in uh, getting a new house or purchasing a new car or some sort or uh, uh, waiting one day for grandchildren. They put all their hope in this and beloved it is not promised to them. But we have to put our hopes where it needs to be and that is in heavenly things. Amen? Because hope here is very temporal. It is not lasting. But man yet continues to hope, never knowing or desiring God's true will for their very existence. I ought to desire to know what God desire for me here so that I can establish what is there in heavenly places. Why are we here in the first place? What's my God-centered purpose here that I might lay that which I ought to in heavenly places. Just as the word tells us, beloved, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things that we desire, that we feel we have need of, will simply be added unto our lives. Amen. Beloved, we don't have to go seeking after things. But those things that we need will overtake us. Amen? Beloved, put your hope in 
heavenly treasures and not in earthly treasures where moth and canker worm will ultimately destroy. Beloved in Christ, may our God and our Father open your heart to His understanding. Be blessed.